guys, it's Nicole. Uh, today is my very favorite day of the week. It's Thursday, which is our treat day. But before I talk about treat day, I wanted to tell you some very special news. This morning, I weighed myself and I took my body fat measurement and I have 20.8% body fat, which puts me officially in the female fit category. Woo! Great job. <laughs> On to treat day, which is more important. <laughs> Today we are having double double, no, not double double, Little Caesars Deep Deep. That was last week, man. Yeah, that was last week. What's it called? Little, Little Caesars, Caesars Deep 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 Dish Bacon Wrapped Something Pe or Other. Pizza. <laughs> something like that, yeah. And we're making um, fries at home as well and you'll get to see what we're choosing for dessert and what we're having for a snack. Woo, let's go. See ya. Bye. Before we get to treat day, let's have an appetizer, some Purple K creatine. Purpley. <laughs> All right, we picked up the Little Caesars deep, deep dish bacon wrap. Let's check her out. Let's take a look. Uh, that oh, that looks good oh and greasy. Bacon on top, pepperoni, cheese, and bacon on the sides. Too. There, can you guys see the bacon on the side? Yeah, there you go. There we go. Oh my gosh, it is a grease fest. Here we go. Okay. You can try it out first. Okay, well let me Don't put... Don't burn yourself though, it's probably really let hot. Let me put a piece on our plate each. Take some of the grease off. Yeah, you can't have extra grease when you're taking down a deep dish. <laughs> okay, here it goes. First, I'll try the um, the bacon part. Mmm. <laughs> How's that? Hot? Mm -mm. Burny? Mm -mm. Oh my gosh. The crust is awesome. The bacon is really um, crunchy and crispy. It's cooked really good. And the crust, I love thick crust and it's really thick and soft and chewy. And the toppings are awesome too. I'll try the um, actual pizza part of it now. Mmm. Good? Yeah. It's cheesy. And delicious. Exactly I, what I we like, wanted. I like really thick crust with not a lot of sauce, and that's exactly what it is. It's perfect. It's so good. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's get into this. Try a piece of the uh, crust first. What do you think? Mm. It's really crispy, eh? They cook it really good. It's done perfect, yeah. Even though it's a thick crust, I thought it would be like um, really dry, but it's not. It's actually really moist and good. It is. It's really thick and chewy. It's really good dough. Mm. This kind of pizza is right up your alley. It's your type of crust because I remember you sharing your um, your Nona's pizza crust recipe with me. Mm -hmm. And it is thick and doughy and really nice and fluffy and, and good. That's what I love. And I love thick, doughy bread. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what were we saying? This is like, this pizza, this deep deep dish Little Caesars bacon wrap pizza, it tastes like how Pizza Hut used to taste back in like the early 90s when we were kids. Mm -hmm. When you'd go to the Pizza Hut buffet and it was fresh and hot and doughy and greasy. Mm -hmm. This is what that used to taste like and that's a good thing. Yeah, it's, it's so good. I would definitely get this again, and I would recommend everyone to try it. It's awesome. Yeah, it's really worth it. 13 something for a, it's a large size. Yeah, I, I think it's 13.99. Yeah. Came to like 15.51 or something. Yeah, good deal. Get a lot of pizza, it's filling. It's good. Yeah, you get like eight big, thick slices. Yeah. I would definitely get this. It will feed quite a bit of people too. Nicole, I thought I told you to get the big bag of french fries out of the freezer. <laughs> 
on my mistake. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. It's nine pounds of french fries. Six. Six dollars, five ninety nine at Costco. Sorry, eight point eight two pounds of French fries. Yeah, get it right. Yeah. Look <laughs> at that thing. This is the biggest bag of fries I have ever seen in my life. It's gonna take us like two months. <laughs> it's gonna take us like at least two hours to eat that. <laughs> okay, let's go fry them up. Okay, let's go eat them. We just got. <clears throat> we just bought a Dutch oven recently, and uh, we're gonna try it out. Heating up some vegetable oil for the fries. Should make them a little tastier and a little healthier. <laughs> okay, this is um, I don't know, like a maple donut. Like a maple cream or something. Kyle's brother brought them over last week, and we put them in the freezer to try them today. So let's take a bite. You ever had that kind before? Mm mm. It's good. How is she? Mm hmm. Good. Um, I think it's like the same cream as the Boston cream. Oh. Okay. And then a maple donut on the top. Cool. I'm gonna try with the Boston cream now. I'm just gonna have one bite. <laughs> Is it good? Mm. And one bite of the maple cream. <laughs> good? You taste the maple? This is a homemade peanut butter pumpkin chocolate chip loaf. Kyle and I are just splitting a piece because we have so much to eat right now. So let's... And we want to fit it all in. We don't want to Core. stuff ourselves. Mmm. How is it? Oh, good. We taste the pumpkin and the chocolate chips and some peanut butter. It's pretty moist for being in the freezer. And you can... It's like a dense loaf. Mmm. What do you think? Nice pumpkin spice in there. Yeah, there's a good pumpkin flavor, but you can there's a really hint good. of peanut butter. Chocolate chips go all the way through there. Mmm. Good. I like to drown my fries in malt vinegar and ketchup. Tastes good that way. Mmm. They're really good and crispy. Crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. Thanks, Costco. Let's try out these french fries. Don't burn your mouth now. Mm. Good and crispy? Mm -hmm. They're really crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. That's great. These are really good. Thanks, Costco. Tasty. Mm -hmm. So once again later for a snack, if we have any room left uh, later on tonight, we're going to have some Old Dutch sour cream and green onion potato chips and some Ruffles ranch dip. Okay guys, um, for dessert we're having, if I had a million flavors, Ben and Jerry's ice cream. We've had this one before. It's um, a collision of chocolate and vanilla ice creams mixed with fudge covered toffee, white chocolatey chunks, peanut butter cups, and fudge covered almonds. It's one of the best ice creams I've ever had. Me too, it's ever, awesome. Um, of all the brands. The chocolate and vanilla ice creams are so good and you get a chunk of something in every bite, like the peanut butter cups, the fudge covered like, almonds. In the States, I believe it's called like everything but the kitchen sink, but here in Canada, we have a band called the Bare Naked Ladies, so it's it's named after one of their songs in Canada, but it's the same flavor. If you're gonna get any Ben & Jerry's flavor, I would recommend this one. Okay, so we're eating our ice cream right now. I just wanted to show you guys what the Ben & Jerry's ice cream looks like. There's like huge chunks of Reese's Pieces peanut butter cups in it. And there's what um, Kyle's looks like down there. But it's so good. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Huge chunks of Reese's Pieces and, and chocolate fudge chunks and vanilla and chocolate ice cream all mixed together. So yeah, definitely recommend this one. We uh, hope you guys enjoyed the treat day video. Yes, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Bye, Bye guys. guys.